harvest time in WA's northern grain belt. Throughout the region, signs that growers are heeding advice to reduce weed seed at harvest. Yeah, it's, um, it's slowly coming together, the char cart getting it right. Just outside Banu, Ben Cripps is one of an increasing number of growers actively working to reduce and ultimately eliminate the weed seed bank by managing weed seeds at harvest. Okay Ben, we've found a wild radish plant here in your crop. Yep. So if we use our handy reference tool to check out our harvest height, yep. we can see here that even though this is an immature wild radish plant, there's still a lot of pods here and every one of those pods is above our harvest height, so they're all going to go into your chaff cart. Major weed species mature at the same time as cereal crops, and their seed returns to the weed seed bank if not captured at harvest. GRDC-funded research monitored weed seed retention levels at nine sites in WA over four weeks of harvest, with good results. There was very high levels of retention for for all species, for annual ryegrass it was about 90%, for wild radish it was excellent, it was 99%, for brome grass it was about 74% and for wild oats it was around about 80%. So if we've got lots of seed retained, we can get lots of seed into the harvester, we can take lots of seed out of the cropping system. Those high retention percentages translate into a potential explosion of new weeds when you look at the average number of seeds per plant. Encouragingly though, the high retention levels offer an opportunity. Okay, so here's our wild radish plant. And as you can see, Ben's done a fantastic job. He's cut below beer can height, no wild radish pods left. Across the entire paddock though, there will be a few missed flowers or seed pods. Uh, in this case though, not 100%, but still very high levels of collection and removal. So we are having a, an impact on that seed bank. Potentially we're removing 90% of what was going to go into it. Research data also indicates up to 95% of wild radish seed that enters the header during harvest will be collected with a chaff cart and the recommendation is to harvest as soon as the crop can come off, as the weeds will shed some seed over the duration of the harvest period. It's not too bad for annual ryegrass and for wild radish. They lose less than 1% of their seed production per day over that harvest period. So even after four weeks, there's still in excess of 80% 80 of the seed of wild radish retained. For annual ryegrass, again, it's still around about 80% as well. For Wild oats and brome grass, it's not so good. Around about 2% per day is shed from those plants over the harvest period. Reducing the weed seed bank can be done in many different ways, depending on your circumstances. Narrow windrow burning works in low to medium rainfall areas. Weed seeds within the windrow are destroyed when temperatures exceed 400 degrees Celsius. Bale Direct is suited to regions with a reliable and nearby market for straw. The Harrington Seed Destructor is good for larger crop areas in medium to high rainfall zones. And chaff cards are cost effective, practical and suited to all rainfall zones. The research data also shows all harvest weed seed control systems deliver the same result when working correctly. Ben invested in his chaff cart two years ago. I've got paddocks that I only sprayed once for radish this year, so that's a significant financial saving. Um, that, that alone has probably paid for the chaff cart already, and you know, that's in two years. Ben has got the right attitude. He has got an eradication attitude towards wild radish, uh, and he is doing everything within his powers to take this weed out of his cropping systems. He's double knocking, he's using selective herbicides in his crops that are still working effectively, he's using harvest weed seed control, he's using farm hygiene, keeping his paddock boundaries and roadsides clear, so he is well on top of, of his weed control program here. Ben used to burn narrow windrows but believes there are greater benefits switching to a chaff cart, creating dumps and burning them. As far as time management, it's taken about two weeks off our burning program for the year. Burning your windrows costs you 40 bucks a hectare in nutrients. Going to a chaff cart, you, you are controlling, heart, well, you're doing a harvest weed seed management across every hectare of your farm every year. Growers have got the message now that they really need to drive their populations down to very low levels, to 
towards eradication um, and it's that attitude that is going to help them into the future because they're now tolerating much lower weed densities in their cropping systems and that just means that weed control practices become much more sustainable. A comprehensive webinar on harvest weed seed control can be found on the resources page of GRDC's website as well as more videos and information from the site's integrated weed management hub.